you've worked on Apollos 8 and 10. What was that like? Can you describe your feelings during those two missions, what it was like? Well, the missions were so nominal that you almost couldn't believe that it was happening. We had been simulating these things for so long, and everything goes wrong in the simulations. You have devious little men that plan simulations. They plan to do everything wrong so that they can mess everybody up. So when we got to the real mission, it seemed like a piece of cake, really. What sort of things in the simulations would they have go wrong? What sort of problems would they present to you? The engine fails. Uh, their uh, gyroscopes and reference equipment will fail. You'll lose communication. They'll underburn. They'll overburn. They'll have uh, abort situations come up. Do you think that there is any danger when actual astronauts are involved, and it's not a simulation, that your mental attitude won't take into, the f into consideration the fact that it's a manned mission, that it will be too much like an exercise? I think you always remember that there are men on board. And even during simulations, it's not just an exercise. The simulations seem as real as the mission. We have men in simulations. They're in the simulator. They're not flying up to the moon. But we feel like they're real. You feel like they're real, but do you think that the entire space program, as you view it in your work, has a sense of unreality to it? I think the atmosphere you work in is a little bit unreal as far as the, the actual facilities are concerned. You're totally isolated. You're surrounded by machines. There are no windows in the buildings where you work. The lighting is always the same. You lose all track of time. You think in terms of ground elapsed time, and that becomes the only reality. 